Authorities in New York say he scammed immigrants out of tens of thousands of dollars, and he did it for years, all while evading police. Until now, today. Juan Sadio, finally back in Westchester County to face a judge. Cops say he promised immigrants he could help them get visas in exchange for money. And it turns out the whole thing was a lie, just a scam on the vulnerable. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis. Four years and 3,000 miles later, Juan Cedillo was back in White Plains, in handcuffs and not flashing the card with the bogus title of special justice agent that authorities say was used in an elaborate immigration scam targeting members of the Latino community in Yonkers. The list of his alleged victims so long, the restraining order was two pages long. You're not to have any contact whatsoever with these individuals, whether directly, indirectly to a third party or to social media. You understand, sir? Yes, sir. Cedillo was rearrested in Washington State by a fugitive task force. He was initially charged in 2019. At the time, Yonkers officials showing off a long history of fraud arrests from across the country. Cedillo allegedly targeted undocumented immigrants who were parents of children born in the United States, claiming that for $8,000 he could help secure a visa for them that would lead to a path to citizenship. Experts say such claims of cutting through red tape are at the heart of immigration scams. They may uh, be impersonating a government official saying, oh, you need to pay this amount of money if you want to get your asylum case to move forward. Catholic Charities, which played a key role in helping Cedillo's alleged victims, offers important tips. Don't pay cash uh, to anyone offering immigration help. Uh, then there's no paper trail, there's no way to prosecute, you don't have a record, and, that, and it's very unusual for a lawyer to ask you for cash. The 69-year-old had been offered a plea deal of one and a third to four years in prison, but may now face bail jumping charges and a longer sentence if convicted. He's being held this time without bail. In White Plains, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.